I'm going to cut in here real quick and say that this is the first time anybody on YouTube is hearing about this because I had never talked about what happened between Josh's family and us. Uh, I chose not to speak about it, so I did not speak about it, and um, I have a video where I went into really great detail from start to finish about every single thing that's going to be uploaded. I don't know when. Um, it's, it's like an hour long video. It goes into really, really, really great detail, but I felt it was really important for everybody, and especially his family, they will be watching to see Josh's take, what Josh has to say about it. He's doing this of his own free will. I'm not coaching him on what to say. He's just going to list the facts. And, and this is this is the first time I'm letting you guys know as well what has happened. Do you have contact with your family or not? No. And I don't plan on any time soon. It all started when we were in our crash. We were involved in a crash. It was... About December 7th, 2017. 7th, yeah, I was wondering if it was the 7th. She had all kind of, in I was fine. She had a bunch of injuries, which uh, later found out that apparently you were faking the whole time, which you weren't. His family says I was faking yeah, the whole time. But she wasn't. Way. Yeah, I stayed out of work two days just to stay I'm with you. Really sorry. I'm not trying to, I just, I'm not happy with the way my head looks. Um, that's fine. Sorry. Um, the, the night she was brought into the hospital, did I record you or did you record yourself? Um, I think, I, think I, had I, I held the phone yeah. and then I gave it to you because yeah, I, right. it was, I was talking, but it was hard for me to talk, so you took the phone and or something. My mother was pissed that she was making a video, yet she, didn't, she must not have realized that she had a son who was estranged mm. and uh, that she, hasn't, she had an online presence that, like, if she passed away or whatever or was in couldn't talk anymore or something was paralyzed that her fans wouldn't know right away or something and I'm she knew sure exactly i had an process. online presence because yeah, she subscribed to me by that. you know yeah and but it was because that she she was gonna you know make it for her son you know what i'm saying for dorian just in case something did happen um it was it was just a big mess I, I, I just still don't understand. But anyways, a year after that, we were, I've, my mother wouldn't talk to Raven at all. Um, not really sure what you had to apologize for anyways. She, she never told me what I did wrong. She didn't even uh, tell you. It wasn't until later she said, oh, she made, the, I'm more mad that she made the video than I am about the crash. And yeah. we were like, what? The hell? what? <laughs> yeah, I could have died. She could have died, but whatever. Yeah, and I, I spent a whole year apologizing for I don't even know what. Yeah, and uh, she I would refused. be at work in my other job, calling her sometimes. Can you please call Raven? Send her a text. I invite Something. her over for lunch or yeah. coffee, Tea, dinner. Coffee. Just yeah. let me let's talk it out. For because a year, what did I say about your family before I got here, and when I when I got here before the crash? That y'all seemed very nice and sweet and. Well, then, not y'all. That they seem yeah. very nice and sweet, and you feel like you could be a part of it. You've all, that's, that's all you've wanted in your past relationships, just be a part of a family. Yeah, I didn't come down here wanting to rip a family apart. I came down here, I wanted to be part of a family. I, I loved his family. Yeah. We went out to lunch Eat, a couple of times. Of stuff, yeah. We spent Thanksgiving over there, and they came over to our house for Christmas. I mean, mm. we just, I just wanted, I just wanted to be a part of them, and they didn't want it. Because, supposedly because of the crash, but uh, I, I, I don't really think that that's a, a real reason because there's other stuff that's, that's sorry that's other there's other stuff that's been said about me that doesn't even have anything to do with the crash or whatever that, that but just shows that they're looking for reasons to not like me. They're just pushing themselves further and further. So I have no interest in, in even <laughs> making up with them. Have no. I forced you to no. cut your mom out of your life? No, it was my own choice. I even told her. I told her, you need to speak to my wife five minutes, six minutes tops. Speak to her for five minutes to clear this whole thing up or I will, I will not talk to you. You don't accept her, you don't accept me. I don't care how long I've been your son. I don't. It was hurtful. It was disrespectful. Really hurtful. Yeah, really disrespectful. And uh, what about your brother? 
my brother. Uh, well, come that thanks. It was Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. yeah. Come that seventeen well, last year Thanksgiving. Oh uh, yeah, it yeah. was last year. Um, last year Thanksgiving, I got a text from my brother out of the blue saying that they're having Thanksgiving at Megan's house, which is my our sister. Um, so I actually didn't answer him for a couple of days because we were still like that's one of the few things we even said anything. I mean, that's a few things had, we even said to each other. You had been other. reaching out to Joel and trying to say, I've been you know, and so. he was like, "I'm tired of hearing about it." Like we were in the wrong. Like and imagine just... if it was his girlfriend and her same, her same situation. He wouldn't he, have he, stood he, for that. Of course he wouldn't. Have. No. Maybe we'll, I don't know. He, uh, he didn't really have anything to say about yeah, it. He just so. said that he was tired of hearing about it and that basically we should give up trying to get his mom to speak to me at all, which, what kind of relationship is that? How awkward yeah. is that? We couldn't show up on Thanksgiving with nobody wanting to talk to me. That would have been horrible, you yeah, know? We would have left immediately. Yeah, and his brother knew that. We had already said until things are kind of clear, we're just going to keep to ourselves. Yeah. And they accused us of... Um, that we were going to have Thanksgiving and everybody else was invited, but his mom wasn't, and we we wouldn't yeah, have done that. I don't know where that even came from. You would have put your foot down on that. Yeah, you would have yeah. said you were not just going to leave my mom out like that, no matter yeah, what she's have. done. Yeah. Either nobody's coming or she's coming. Exactly is what you would have said. But we yeah. we already knew we were just going to have Thanksgiving to ourselves that year. Yeah. I don't know where the hell they got that from. Me neither. Um. Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Where was I? Um, Thanksgiving and oh, yeah. that you didn't answer. I didn't answer and then uh How did it start again? Did he I asked his girlfriend, can you please tell me why you unfriended That's me? But apparently was. I control your accounts. I yeah, always have and I still do. According to her, do. I don't know why <laughs> I see people say it with certainty like they know, which and they obviously don't. Uh she asked she asked Raven why she got on my account and unfriended her. Which for I, unfriending me. Oh, for unfriending her. But I, but I did it myself because you unfriend her for no reason. Because she didn't Maybe. like how we didn't talk to your mom anymore. That you oh, started well. ignoring your mom after I came along. Apparently, you completely cut your mom out after I came along. Nope, sure which didn't. Was not true. Nope, not at all. She, she obviously didn't know what the hell she was talking about. And I'm sure she still doesn't. Um, but yeah, that's what. That's what that was. <laughs> as soon as um, Josh found out that she unfriended me but kept him, he got rid of her. Yeah, of course. And I wrote and I said I was trying to be nice and she shot back total attitude. And I tried to explain, look, it's been a year, almost a year. And we're trying to, I've been trying to reach out to his mom to figure out what did I do wrong? Can we just make up? We were getting along. His mom refused to talk to me no matter how many times I asked or Josh asked. And she's just like... You can remove yourself from my messenger. I have nothing to say to you. Like, what the fuck? And uh, that's the only time I cussed her out. And apparently they're going around saying that um, I called her a skank, skank and all that. I never called her names. I told her, I told his brother, because his brother wrote me after that and started threatening me. Yeah. And I said, um, I can ask your stupid mm. girlfriend a question. And he took such offense because I said stupid girlfriend. Mm. That's like the worst thing I said aside from at the end after I explained everything and she still gave me attitude, I said, you can you can go fuck yourself or you can fuck off. You guys deserve each other. Yeah. Those two things are the only <laughs> things bad that I said to them. And then Joel went and started writing to me through your, he texted you yeah. to talk shit to me, bringing up Logan and Lolcow. He was on the hate sites and I yeah. knew it. He tried, you tried so hard to say he would never do that. I told you over and over, Joel's not that kind of person, and Joel was that kind of person. I said, I know how they talk when they've been to the sites and the stuff he was saying, yeah. and lo and behold, uh, a couple we months even, later... We even saw him say, this is the guy everybody's been talking about. You guys all know me. Um, Nobody knows you because uh, I haven't talked about you. It's like they want attention. They wanted attention. But whatever. And uh, that uh, I kill animals, and yeah, yeah, he was you know. he was on there outing himself, saying that he would expose me. The thing is, is that his family essentially thinks that once I got here, I took Josh away, and I did, but not in the way they're saying. No. I mean, what happened when I got here? You started working. We were building a life together. You don't. You don't move 6,000 miles to be with somebody and then not spend any time with them. 
No. What kind of son were you before I got here? What would you do for your family? Most things. And I, I would get here. I had a driving job. FedEx. FedEx. And, um, I'd be... I'd get home after driving for 13, 14 hours. You'd get in a text to call saying, I need cigarettes. I need some beer. Or give me some dog food. I'd say no. And that was it. Well, you did. You you did still do it for I did a while. And I, for a while, I yeah. did say, you know... You shouldn't be driving this late. They yeah. have vehicles. We didn't have a vehicle. He was driving the I'm FedEx driving the truck. FedEx truck yeah. And he just got home, and they wanted him to do all this stuff, and then they bitched and complained that you never called or went over to go see them. But, but they were always welcome yeah, at our house. always. They, they never called. They, they never didn't even texted. have a vehicle. No. We went and got some furniture for the house, and we had to use the FedEx truck. Yeah. We had a Remember bed, uh, an air mattress. Yeah. It wasn't until we moved here that we, we had anything, but apparently being proud that you Can't don't be... sleep on the floor means that we're up ourselves. Man, in, in, instead of saying, oh, hey, I'm glad, I'm glad you got a job, you have your own place and blah, blah, blah. They won't even praise me on getting a better, a way better job than I've always had. Now. Quitting smoking, Quitting even? Smoking. I don't even smoke cigarettes anymore. They they just, nothing. They act like... Oh, oh Raven said something about something online on YouTube we hate you <laughs> that, that had nothing That's to do pretty with much that. It, no, no. did I even mention her in that video uh, no, no I didn't um it was for nothing but like I said I think that there was already a, a, a hatred brewing there just because Josh wasn't available to run and do everything for them anymore because they couldn't understand what it meant to be in a relationship and to actually spend time with the person and try to build yeah. a life living with that person when you don't have anything there just wasn't enough time in the day but they could have come over i would have happily made dinner for everybody yep. or or whatever we would have loved for them to come over and then i know no and then i i didn't mention this in my video but i'm going to mention it here you always made an excuse for your mom for this but i still say it was rude as hell i was never allowed inside her house whenever we'd go over to um go somewhere she would always want Josh to go pick up this, pick up this, do this, do that. And like a good son, he always did. So we'd drive the FedEx truck to her house, pick up her car, use her car for smaller tasks. And he'd go in and say hi, even if it was raining or if it was cold or whatever. Okay. Um, she always made me stand outside. Like I not once was ever invited inside her house. And I wouldn't have cared how messy my house was or whatever. Or if you know someone's going to come over, tidy up a little. But it's just... And I remember standing out there waiting, you know, Josh never take that long, but still, it it's just, time, really. yeah, it was raining a couple of times. And I remember being cold and standing out there, like, I can't even go inside her house for five minutes. And well, that's how she is. She just, you know, or the house is dirty or, or whatever, but it was, it was just really rude. That rubbed me the wrong way, but I didn't really say anything about it. You know, I didn't want to rock the boat and complain even when I saw little things like that. But I think this is all rooted not on the crash, but in reality, I think it's rooted on the fact that you weren't you weren't just yeah. free to do everything for everybody. I guess. <laughs> that's all I think of. But... Which is it's just. Yeah, that's what. That's a waste. Not even calling to say, you know, hey Josh, how are you doing? Ah, uh, yeah. My sister asked me one time why don't why I don't ever call, or check up on anybody. Why don't y'all call and check up on me? <laughs> Yeah. Nobody did. I would send Joel a text every now and then. Like, what's up? Or I'd send him a link to a video or something. Yeah. Or remember he when... He would do the same to me, but that was it. After the crash, he didn't come visit. Nobody came to visit, but a week later, he twisted his ankle or whatever. And everybody, yeah. everybody... Oh, did you, and you got a text, too. Did you know Joel, Joel hurt his ankle? Did you know that I was in a car crash with her and she almost died? <laughs> I didn't Jeez. almost die, but we nah, we I'm didn't know at the time, you know. You had what? You had I had some lacerated kidney, mm -hmm. a broken rib, internal bleeding, internal bleeding. That I, I had stuff. A little bruising on your brain. And then his brother went to all my social media sites to saying expose I, me, saying yes, I was faking, you're faking it. In my ass. And then we replaced her car. Yeah. I gave even... her mom four thousand. I gave his mom four thousand dollars, and that wasn't enough for her to speak to me. He, on the way to get it, I was driving my Explorer, and Raven was beside me. My mother was in the back, like kind of in between us. Yeah. You know, in the back. Whatever. 
I pleaded with her. Can you please just talk to her? She's sitting right here. And uh, she she still wouldn't. And so you were talking about that we were moving and you had a better job and blah, blah, blah. And she didn't once say, I'm proud of you or good. She said, well, I don't like that you're moving so far. Are you sure that job is even going to be good enough? Well, I don't know about this. And no. how, well, how much does this cost? And, and like, nothing. Well, and, I make good money now, so. Yeah, but that just really sucked to see yeah. that, you know, the things, because when we were in Saluda, we had borrowed money for food from her. You know, we didn't have enough to live on, and there was not one bit of pride there. It was just complaining and complaining. Mm. And then after she took her car, we went to Walmart. Remember, she called you for something or other, and um, I had made it known to him I wasn't happy with how the day ended. We just got her a new car. She was happy with She chose it herself. And... He said, uh, Raven's right here. Can you please talk to her? She said, I don't know. Yeah, not even in person. Just on the phone. Yeah. She still wouldn't do it. She said, uh, I'm going to go eat. I'll call her later. No, I was like, she's never going to yeah. call. And she never did. That was on a Wednesday. I still remember that. And, you know, believe it or not, when you love somebody and you're with someone, watching them get hurt hurts you. Yeah. So he was hurt that I was hurt. And it became a point of... Why is this happening? Why is this going on? We didn't even do anything. And it, it was, was my fault. Well, not really my fault. I was driving when the crash happened. So. Yeah, and everybody tries to say that uh, I was taking pictures or I made you go out and you fell asleep and all this. Nah, it was my choice. I didn't fall asleep. Shit happened. We, we, we never actually explained what happened because that's, that's not something any, anybody needs to know yeah. except for the fact that we weren't drinking. You nah. didn't fall asleep. Nah. None. We didn't. We didn't do anything wrong. It could have happened to anybody, and actually, it has happened in the past to his brother. His brother's crashed his mom's car before, yeah. and um, he's still golden child now. Yes. Well, he is now that you're not in the picture. I don't care about being a golden child, but I, I do. I, I did care about being in touch with my family. But, uh, and then you tried really hard to get her. I, I tried, at least weekly. More than well, every time she wrote you, and then as soon as you asked yeah. her, she'd vanish for like two weeks. And uh, and they're 52 weeks in a year, so um, there you go. What happened? Remember when uh, you found out that your stepdad was talking bad about me? Yeah, and she called and left a voicemail. Yeah, and then I, I told him, I told him exactly how it was, and then I got that's when I got texts from my family saying, Oh, you don't need to talk to him like that, yet yeah, he can talk about my wife like that. But what else did she say in the message, remember? At the end, uh, she was like, I wish that we could all get over this and oh, make up. Oh, yeah, my mama, yeah. You made a video just for her. Yeah. That's right. And I pleaded with her again because That's a pretty long Josh, video, too. Yeah. Well, I went through from the very beginning to the end. Yeah. I explained everything very calmly. I didn't call names. I wasn't angry. I just said, you know, I, I really loved you, and I thought we got along great. What happened? this and this and this I tried to explain everything she might have ever had a problem with I said if you want to talk if you want to make up talk to me it's not Josh you have to talk to you need to talk to me I'll unblock you let's just talk it out to this day nothing nothing that she, was she well won. over a year ago yeah and she keeps wanting to sit back and cry and say that she misses him so much but huh. I haven't pressured him or pressured her I, nope. I didn't give an ultimatum Josh said... I, I gave her the ultimatum. Yeah, so. if you don't talk to my wife, I'm not going to talk to you because I'm tired of this. She obviously didn't think I was serious. But did she know that was the last thing I said to her? I did step in a lot and yeah. try to apologize and try to... I, I've sent her texts. I've sent her messages. I've made videos and linked her to them. And I know she's watched them. I've done more than I would have ever done for anybody else. Anybody else, to be honest... Maybe after the second time getting blown off, I would have cussed them out and I would have been like, I don't care if you hate me. You are never speaking to your family again. I don't want anything to do with them. With him, I couldn't do I that to him. I wouldn't let her do that to me. <laughs> because he was closer to his family than anybody else I've ever been with. And, you know, before I got here, he used to tell me, my family's so great. They're so wonderful. They're going to love you. They're going to accept you with open arms. And I was like, oh my God, will I finally have a family? And I was so excited. And... It was great for a couple of weeks. Yeah. A month, maybe. I don't know. I guess. I just, I couldn't. That was it. I couldn't bring myself to just give up. So I tried, and I, I belittled myself and humiliated myself to her for over a year for no return, for nothing. 
and that's when he stepped in because he saw how upset I was. I mean, I, I've, I've cried over it. I've yeah. just been up and just, what's wrong with me? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? And as much as we try to think about it, there's nothing we can there's think of that, that would justify this. And especially... Maybe you didn't pay for your lunch that one time? I don't know. Uh, she invited me to lunch. Uh, exactly. But, yeah. you know, I had talked about her in videos and she was fine with it. She yeah. never told me not to talk about her. Cool. Um, the hate sites are not my fault. I don't make these people stalk me. It, it's, it's bullshit to blame the victim of stalking for the stalking, if that's what they're doing. But they're now a part of that they're because actually... they've joined and yeah. taking great pleasure in blasting me and exposing me yeah. just because he made the decision to cut out his family for what they're doing for no reason and if i know that mad just they could have talked some to him. throwaway phone or just borrowed a friend's phone like can i can i call my brother right quick i i, I wouldn't know the number i'd pick up the phone <laughs> that could have been well that would have been before we we changed our numbers and stuff uh. I, I actually originally changed mine just because of the um, all the spam I was getting. Yeah. Hey, and, James. Yeah. I heard you won the lottery or whatever. I get constant, constant, constant spam. I'm probably going to have to change it again because I it just won't stop. And I block every single spam number that comes through. But, you know, whatever. And he changed his because no matter how many times we block their numbers, the voicemails and stuff were, were coming in. Nah. And so he, he we just didn't want anything. If they couldn't just talk yeah. and they like to paint a really ugly picture uh, all the stuff that his brother has left on my fan page and my YouTube and on the hate site uh, last year trying to out me or whatever he had a lot to say about us and our life and how we were what we were doing what scummy people we were because we ran out on our bills and how I control you and I've controlled everything you do and no, you, have. you need to wake up because I'm insane and you just don't know it yet. Yeah. And uh, I, don't I do know you and you're not insane. So they're insane for not wanting to give you a chance. You're a great person. There's just so much shit that's going on out there about us that's just so wrong on so many levels. Mm -hmm. um, but the main thing right now and the only thing that really matters is with his family. Yeah. And, uh, Maybe we'll say something to each other, but I don't really have, I don't have any plans to. And it's, and it's, and it's my choice, not hers. Yeah, she doesn't control me. So. My choice on my side is I don't care what they do or what they say. They're not going to be part of my life, period. Right. Just for going to the hate sites. I don't blame her. Though. Everything that everything else that they said and they did that was hurtful can kind of be overlooked once time passes. But going to the hate sites is the worst thing anybody could do. I told Joel. <laughs> what before you even got here yeah and just just stay off the site it's all bullshit i've had blah 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 he knew and and he went pretty much right away started bragging you know if anybody wants to know i'm here yeah if anybody's asking i'll i'll tell them i'll tell you everything and you this need guy to do. or girl probably some fat guy who lives in the basement somewhere said hey hey joel I'm, I want to know. I'm asking. <laughs> yeah. This is what it was and not. Uh, I don't know why they'd need so much attention to go, especially when he tried to out himself all over my, my social media. This is Joel, Josh's brother. Y'all would have heard of me. No? no Nobody would have heard about you. Have. Because if there was Wokow a... Wokow did, though. They call you racist, yeah. talking about your son, and mm -hmm. all this stuff. So, yep. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, but no, um... People, it's like people, once they have an issue with me, their go-to easy thing is to join the hate sites where they can join other people who agree with them in their nonsense to paint me as a really horrible, horrible, horrible person. And that's where they get off on, on being able to talk about somebody like that and lie. Like if they told the truth, I wouldn't even be as irritated, you know? Yeah. But the fact that they go there and they twist everything, that's what pisses me off. The one thing that really sticks with me is the... This person asked me if we're still together, and I said, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, and 30 seconds later. Th maybe 31 seconds later. Um, like that. It was like, oh, don't man. ask me how I know, but Josh and Raven broke up. I actually saw Raven with Logan in the mall 
Logan was smoking a cigarette or some shit or whatever the hell he said. And she was laying right next to me on our bed. Yeah. That's when I first got here and I was offline for like a month. I actually waited a couple, a minute or so before I answered so she could get on the site. Yeah. And we yeah. refreshed or whatever. That was actually like your first, I your was first like, experience wow. was seeing how quickly they spy on everything and I was report. Like, they must have had Messenger on their phone and the site up on their computer. Or on their phone. On the phone, yeah. Yeah, but, um, yeah, they'll just it go was, and twist. It was less than 60 seconds. Yeah. I, I, I remember that. It wasn't long after 30 seconds. But, um... That just blew my mind. I've been betrayed by the people that I cared about the most, and, yeah. um, that's, that's unforgivable. Yeah. Any way you look at it. So, as far as I'm concerned... Uh, I don't care if his family is dying. I don't care if they're sick. I don't care if they're homeless. I wouldn't. I wouldn't piss on them to set out a fire or to put out a fire. I don't care if they live or die. To me, they are dead. I've tried more than I would have tried for anybody else that I know or have ever known, aside from my own child. And they did this to me for no reason at all, and lied, and yeah. and made it a point to try to ex expose themselves to get attention just to try to expose me for nothing, for loving him and being with him and him wanting to spend time with me because I moved here to be with him and they couldn't understand that. That's that's their issue, which is ridiculous. So I don't care if it's five years, 10 years, 15, 20, 30. I don't care if I'm on my deathbed and they want to come say sorry. They can kiss my ass. They're dead to Damn. me. It's like, I never thought your brother had an issue with me. I, I've Neither. only seen him two or three times. And as far as I know... I've seen him my whole life. Yeah. Can't and then, believe it. Just nowhere. His girlfriend, I talked to her twice. Her and your mom had, had a great old time gossiping about me behind my back. Well, about us. But I didn't. Wow. I told Josh, I said, I don't like that they did that. I, I tried to express it to him a couple of times. And he said, no, it's not like that. It's probably not that. Because he didn't want to think that. You didn't want to think that your family was talking about me or gossipy or they, that they were like that at all. And I dropped it because I saw you were getting upset. But it always stayed in the back of my mind. Like, I just, I, I wasn't happy with it. I didn't know why they just talk about me. Wow. And, um, lo and behold, that was just, that was a, a sign that I should have looked more at. That's the tip of the iceberg. Man. I would have definitely, definitely never done that. If, if I hated your mom and didn't want any part of your family, I would have not given her $4,000. Yeah. You know, I would have kept that money. And if they anything, didn't... that was to buy her apology or whatever the fuck it was. She didn't even care. I, yeah, she didn't care. I would have kept that money. She looked happy when I went up to a work and counted those hundreds in front of her, though. I uh, bet. I didn't even get a hug or anything. It was just... Nothing. You know. What? And then what? she decided, well, I'm not mad about the situation. That's that. I think that's probably... That's what it was, yeah. She decided that she was mad about it, and then she decided she, decided she wasn't she mad. She wasn't, so that was it. And yeah. nobody else had a right to talk to her about it or say anything. And so, therefore, since she was over it... Because when she was mad about it, I wasn't allowed to talk to her because she was too mad to talk to me. Then when she was over it, I wasn't allowed to talk to her because, oh, well, it's over. What, what do I need to talk about? Like, nobody else's feelings or thoughts mattered but hers. I remember that. Man. Yeah. And that's that's so immature. That's so screwed up. All I was trying to do was repair whatever damage I accidentally caused or what she perceives as damage and explain everything that I wasn't trying to split up her family and Josh still loved them as much as always and was happy to see them, but she didn't want to take it. And I'm not going to lie. I mean, this obviously shows we, we are two different people. We have our different feelings about things. I can't force him to feel any way at all. As much as I sometimes wish I could, I can't. If I had my way... He would hate them as much as I hate them, but, but I, I do see... to some people, apparently you can. Apparently you, you can't you think for yourself, can. which is bullshit, because yeah. you are really hard-headed. I've said it before, you're strong-willed. Yeah. We're similar in very many ways, but we are still two different people. And mm. he's always been like this with his family. Family's everything to him. And his family would have been everything to me, too, if they hadn't done this. But... I, I do foresee problems in the future because if they do try to get in touch again, I'm going to put my foot down. And I don't blame you. You know, um, I, I obviously I'm not going to force him. I can't force him. All I can do is hope he makes a logical and, and right decision. But I just don't see any way out of the things that they've done. 
to be completely honest, Amen. because uh, I humiliated myself for over a year for someone that has done nothing but gossip behind my back, and and then other parts going to hate sites for no reason at all when it could have all been over and done with in weeks uh, over one cup of tea, one cup of coffee, one dinner, a sandwich, yeah, <laughs> a bag of chips, cookies, on. even a cigarette, stand outside the porch and just be like, yo. So, you know what I mean? I mean, it, it should have been over and done with, and everything could have been explained. If she thought that I was taking Josh away, she could have expressed that to me, and I would have explained. Josh would have explained. Yeah. Everything could have been handled, but... And because, these past two Christmases, we could have spent with them. Yeah. Or but, they could have come here. Yeah. You know, but... Well... They couldn't get over themselves enough, and now they're still, you know, they go out there trying to ruin me. Not even us, it's me. Yeah. For... For nothing, because you're a slave, apparently, and nobody sees you. Not a slave. Um, you're so brainwashed. Like I don't know why no, they not. can't just understand that you, you. That's exactly what a brain person, a brainwashed person would say, though. What? That you're no, not. No, I'm not. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm not, not. Just because you you work and you're not in my videos doesn't mean you don't know everything I talk about, no, everything I feel and think and. No, no. We, we do talk every day. <laughs> we talk about everything. Every time, because this, this situation's been in my head almost nonstop since the crash. And so at least once a week, if not more, I bring it up. You know, God, I wish your family would have done that. Or if mm -hmm. I find out something, I tell them and we talk about it. And, you know, I know that um, it might be hard to believe that he can actually think for himself. He's not an idiot. He's not a moron. He's not a junkie. No. You know, people like to say you're all doped up on drugs all the time and shit. You're not. Right. You're just usually fucking tired because you work a lot. And I, I don't sleep like I should. Unfortunately, that is the way everything worked out. But Josh, Josh is a strong, independent woman. Yep. <laughs> he's a strong man, and he does what he wants to do. Oh. And uh, he's very loyal, and that's why oh. he's chosen to... Stay on my side. If I had come of out of nowhere and I had had a problem with his family for no reason, he would have put me in my place like that. Yep. Because there's, when this stuff first started happening before it got that bad and before he cut his mom out, I said a couple of things because I was mad. You know, I, I think I'm a, yeah. I called her a bitch or something like that. I was like, your mom's being a bitch. I don't want to hear that. But yeah, he's not going to just sit back and let me push him around. And... Well, sorry. <laughs> yeah. So. If, if you don't talk to your family, you don't talk to them because you don't want to talk to them. It's not because yeah. I have any influence on you at all. It's just the right thing to do. Yep. You've got tinsel all over you. <laughs> well, maybe you should take off all your clothes and just wear this. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I guess that's about it. You go check on the baby. Yeah. Make dinner and get on with our night and stuff. I'm not looking forward to trying to edit this long ass video, but I will. I'll be playing Xbox or something. Yeah. We haven't made a video together in a long time. Yeah. But pretty nice. Yeah. Us. But. Yeah. So something came up about the file size or something. Mm. Alright. We cut this before it cuts itself. Yep. Bye, -bye. Bye, bye bye. Merry Christmas. Happy Merry Christmas. Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.